First up guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to reduce input latency in Valorant and also how to boost FPS in Valorant as well. So uh, yeah, let's just get into it. So the first thing you want to do, just head over to settings then go to video and stats, then scroll down to network RTT and enable it on text or graph, whatever. So now you can see the MS before these tweaks are applied. So next we want to make sure that your display mode is on screen and hit apply and you also want your nvidia reflex low latency to either be on on or on plus boost if your gpu is better than your cpu then you want to have on plus boost but if your cpu is better or the same than your gpu then just leave it on on because it will be better next just head over to general and go to raw input buffer and just turn it on and then you want to scroll down so you find network buffering and return this to maximum what network buffering does is increase the amount of movement packages you send to the server so it will give you lower latency sorry to interrupt your monk video but this is editing my monk here i just want to say that i haven't been getting many subscribers recently so if you could subscribe that would really mean a lot i'm also at this moment 30 subscribers away from 1000 so uh, yeah please subscribe and enjoy the rest of the video so after you've done that you want to head into my discord server and find the configs channel then you just want to download all of these so once you've downloaded all of these you just want to open them all so it should say something like this hit yes and it hit okay and just do that with all of them as you can see these improve response times and reduce your ping and things like that so after you've done that if you have an nvidia graphics card you want to type in nvidia and you want to find the geforce experience so once you've opened up nvidia you just want to head into the settings i just want to find in-game overlay then press settings press done and go to performance then you want to enable automatic tuning so this is basically a quick auto overclock so if you have a good and newer graphics card then you should definitely enable this and also if you have instant replay enabled and you don't use it then definitely disable it because it takes a lot of performance then if you have discord running in the background whilst you play valorant then you can also head into your discord go over to settings and then you can go over to advanced and then you can find hardware acceleration and turn it off i won't do this because i have quite a good gpu but if you don't then you should definitely turn it off whilst you play games spotify also uses hardware acceleration so just head over to settings and scroll down to the bottom and then disable hardware acceleration so yeah i hope this was useful and i'll see you in the next one peace